As much as you plunge in the oceans of understanding and knowing Fatima alayha salam, there is much more to know. What can the likes of me say about he, about she, who guided the angels of God alayhim salam? When? What happened? The tradition tells you. You can find it in Bayt al-Ahzan for Shaykh Abbas al-Khumi, may Allah bless his soul. The angels of God alayhim salam were tested by Allah. Allah wanted to test them, to put them through a trial. So Allah Ta'ala sent a cloud of darkness upon the angels. That cloud made them unable to see one another. The first angels weren't able to see the last, and the last angels weren't able to see the first. So they supplicated. They said, oh Allah, remove this darkness. So Allah did what? He created the light of Fatima, salawatullahi wa salamuhu alayha. Her light, the tradition says, resembled a lamp in that world. And Allah Ta'ala attached her light to the throne. Allah does not sit on a, on, a, on a chair or a pulpit. But there is a throne, a creation by Allah created that is called the throne. Allah Ta'ala attached her light to the throne. And as a result, the universe shined, the seven skies. And the seven earths shined due to the light of Fatima salawatullahi alayha. Then the angels began doing tasbih, glorifying Allah azza wa jal, exalting him. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told them, he told the angels, I swear by my mightiness and by my majesty that I will grant the reward of your tasbih, your invocations, the invocations you do from now till the day of judgment, I will grant the reward of your invocations to the lovers of this lady. Pointing to who? Fatima alayhi salam. To the lovers of this lady, her husband, father, and son. One could ask a question and say, isn't this tradition problematic? We hear that Ahlul Bayt and Fatima were created before anything else. They were created before the universe, and that is correct. The first creations crea created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala were the 14 fallibles. Among them was Fatima, peace be upon her. So how could the tradition be saying that Allah created the light of Fatima. It seems that there's a contradiction because she's created after being created. That does not make sense. And the response is, Fatima was created before the universe, without doubt, with the other infallibles, alayhim salatu salam. However, the world of the angels, the world that the angels were living in when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tested them, when Allah brought this darkness upon the angels, is a different world. And Allah azza wa jal wanted to reveal the light of Fatima in that world. Similarly to how Allah azza wa jal brought Ahlul Bayt into this world. Muhammad, Ali, Fatima, Hassan, Hussein. And the nine descendants from Mount Hussein were created before the universe, right or wrong. But when did they appear in this world? When? No one knows. 1400 years ago. Alayhim salam Alhamdulillah, the last one still lives until today. May Allah hasten his reappearance. So just as they appeared in this world 1400 years ago, similarly at a certain time, the light of Fatima السلام, was brought into a new world. Naam, this is one interpretation for that narration. Realize that the angels of God, السلام, when they go through darkness, what does that mean? It means they were going through a state of unclearness, a state of ambiguity. Hence, they needed what? A guider. And who was their, their guider? Fatima She who guides the angels of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can guide the likes of me 